mentioned when you did some of the draft stuff that there were some challenges and it was the most challenging um, part of your career to date. What made the, what were those challenges like? Was it just kind of the virtual dynamic or was it kind of the, the length and the long time? I know <laughs> we were up very late that night as well watching the draft. Yeah. I mean, what were the challenges that you experienced in that? Um, I think the biggest thing was, uh, you know, there's a little bit of pressure involved in being the only reporter um, because normally at the draft, you know, each network has its own reporter. So NBC usually has Catherine Tappan, Sportsnet has their own reporters, TSN, they all have their own reporters because we were doing everything out of NHL network um, in terms of like scheduling all of the Zoom calls with all of the, I think we had like 50 home cameras in case, cause you don't know who's gonna go in the top right. 31. Right. So we had, I think 50 different home cameras set up, which meant that there were 50 possible interviews <laughs> that I could do with those players and I, I had to be prepared because you know <laughs> you don't want to ask every single guy, oh, when does How it do you mean feel? to be selected <laughs> yeah. Yeah, number five? So I, I had a lot of help from our awesome research staff that, you know, we made a, a cue card for every single guy that wow. could possibly go in the first round mm -hmm. um, just with, with things about, you know, his career, but more, more importantly to me was things that other people might not know, like, you know, no one else in his family played hockey before um, or, you know, he was on skates when he was 18 months old or things like that, that you can kind of color um, yeah. their personality a little bit and ask them, you know, more informed questions. So that was really helpful. And then same thing with the GMs. Um, I knew I wasn't going to talk to every GM, but I think the list was like 15. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's plenty. You know, that's a lot of interviews to prepare for. Um, yeah. And so again, it was a lot of studying and highlighting and reading up. And I watched um, an eight hour Zoom call with Sportsnet's people, their draft uh, analysts, ended up doing pre-interviews so they, they oh. knew what to talk about um, mm -hmm. on draft day. And so I watched their Zoom call, which was a <laughs> long time. But it was just like that kind of preparation. Um, I guess, you know, in hindsight, like people are probably like, why did you have to do all of that? Like you just asked each guy like three questions. But it just, that's that's kind of what I try to do for, for everything is make sure I'm prepared. And I know what I'm talking about because my biggest fear is interviewing a guy that I have no idea anything about his story. <laughs> Um, and so uh, it was a good challenge in that way because it just it made me stretch my you know limits and there's there's not a lot that I know about these 18 year olds coming over from Sweden and Russia and even the U.S. I haven't heard of some of them so it was, it was a really fun challenge.